Our response during the pandemic was such an amazing thing to see because it, it came on all of a sudden. It was the weekend, and then the next day, you know, the next, the next week, we were in lockdown. It was as if a light switch had been thrown, and immediately we realized and learned that seniors were the most vulnerable population in addition to those with underlying conditions. This pandemic is like any other emergency, like Hurricane Sandy, like anything, you know, they'd say stay home, but not if you're an essential worker. And in home care, we're all essential workers. We have to be out there, the nurse has to visit, the aide has to get there, because the patient most likely can't be alone. Patients' needs don't go away. And they, they rose the challenge. What's most incredible is the fact that we have a, a workforce of about, you know, 1,500 aides that continue to work during the pandemic. In particular, our home care staff who worked during the pandemic from day one without really wavering at all, which is absolutely incredible to me. Without as much concern for their personal safety or the safety of their families, they want to keep going to see their patients. And that, that means a lot. Many years ago, Self-Help created something called the Virtual Senior Center. It brings the activities of a senior center into the living rooms of people who are isolated. With the lockdown due to the pandemic, we were all socially isolated. And so self-help was able to expand its virtual senior center. We actually tripled the number, and it is still growing, of people who are receiving those services. They are engaged, highly interactive services run by a facilitator, and everybody can do it. Through the virtual senior center, we are reaching out to seniors and combating social isolation. It is a lifeline back to the community for those older adults.